Hi, Adam Bazalgette here in the golf studio down here in Naples, Florida, two-time PGA winner of the year down here in Florida and founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today we're going to have a look at the great young player Jordan Spieth and what makes his swing tick. Stay tuned. Okay, we'll see what makes Jordan such an incredibly good player, at least my opinion of what does. And then I'm going to come back at the end of it and give you some ideas as to how you might incorporate some of these things into your game. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. That's very helpful to me. Subscribe to the channel if you will. We'll get you a lot more of this free content. Uh, and again, my home website with all the videos is scratchgolfacademy.com. Let's get, go ahead and have, get started here with Jordan Swing. Okay, let's have a look at Jordan here. He looks like he's hitting a, oh, it's hard to tell, I would say a 7 or an 8 iron, probably maybe a 6 iron to a par 3 here. And what makes him so good? Well, listen, he's got a lot of intangibles, this guy right here. He isn't just suddenly burst onto the thing. He was a great junior player. He played briefly in college, was a phenomenal college player, and has just absolutely come on strong on the pros and has continued to do so. He's also a fantastic putter. And by all accounts, I've never met him, just a great person from a great family. It seems to show up pretty well on TV. So why is he so good in terms of hitting the ball? The main thing I think you can take away from this, and we'll look at it from a couple of angles, is he just uses his body so freely and dynamically in the downswing. Uh, and, and he lets his arms be really passive and, and reactive to that, which gives him a lot of repeatability. Now, he's a pretty good-sized guy pretty strong and he's obviously got some speed he's a young guy so he can hit it pretty far doing that but let's have a look at that in practice so nice simple backswing line straight away from the ball he has a couple of slight idiosyncrasies kind of curls that left hand a little bit I've never been able to examine his grip up close but it looks just a little little bit unconventional beautiful clean plane lines though lovely position at the top now watch this lower body watch him drive there and, I mean, at that point in the downswing there, you can already see that his knees are back to square with the target line. In other words, he's unwound his legs enough at that point that he's back to his address position. Uh, he's also got great squat against the ground there. And by the time he gets into that ball, I mean, you can really see a lot of the back of his body. So he is freely clearing out there, and it just pulls those arms through where he really doesn't have to rely on his hands much at all to square the club. He has, as I say, a couple of unconventional, slightly unconventional looking things. We'll see his arms from the front view. He almost drags them through and bends that left arm a little bit more than you might suggest, but uh, obviously it's working pretty well for him. Great body motion there. You'll notice as well, he does a nice job as he does that. A lot of people, when they try to use their body really aggressively, tend to pull up or lose their body angles. Now, this camera may not be 100% still. It's pretty still. He sinks down in there a little bit. And you can see the front of his hat logo and the back of his tail are right in that spot. As so many great players do, he's compressed slightly down into the ground. Gives him a much more dynamic look. And boy, is he, in his, is, is he on the mark there as he hits it. Beautiful motion through the ball. Now, have a look at this view of him. I would hardly call that unconventional, but there's certainly some bend in the left arm there. Uh, not always typical of today's great players, and a moderate amount of wrist cock. Now if we look at his body motion here, he loads in behind the ball, maybe a little more than most, but he's still certainly well within the confines of his ankle, and he's got a very nice kind of load there in his hips. It's not like he's shifted or lost any stability there. Here's the bit I'd really like you to see from this angle, though. Let's just put a little bracket on the front of his hips, and in his case, even a little bit if you look at his head, as he starts down, he really creates some push towards the target. I mean, look at that move there. And you can see how passive his arms are. They haven't done a thing as he starts down. They're just hanging in space. So many of us tend to really fight to get the club down to the ball and overspeed our arms up relative to the body. Not Jordan. That is a fantastic move, and it's just really putting some pressure down in that foot from where he can clear out from. Again, you can see he slightly lowered himself as he does that, and once he's there, he just rips through there. Again, there's that slightly 
awkward looking sort of left arm position but hardly something to criticize especially not with his record and his wrists are released beautifully there and there's just a lot of energy going out to the target so it's a swing where he never looks like he's guiding the ball his body works beautifully and his arms respond so nicely to that so let's see what we can take away from that that might help you so as we mentioned there with Jordan great body motion beautiful weight transfer arms are passive to the body and the body is really oriented out to the target as he goes through so here's a couple of ideas you might take away to try to implement some of that in your game number one you've got to experience what it's like to have your body more open as you hit the golf ball or more facing the target and I think if you take a short iron this is an eight iron look out to the target no ball and just picture tossing the golf club out there. You can even toss it if you like, if no one's around. And just start to notice, hey, if I was really tossing a club there versus say, trying to hit a ball here, how would my body feel? I guarantee you, you wouldn't toss with your body like that. You'd be in this sort of a position. Once you've rehearsed that a few times, look down a bit and see if you can create the same type of an image. Uh, and you've got to feel something before you can really repeat it. So that's what we're looking for in this golf swing. And then I'd simply hit a few kind of half shots out here like that, emphasizing not only trying to duplicate that, but as much as possible, emphasizing that the arms are soft and responsive to the body. There's no hit whatsoever in the arms. Something like that. You can see the sort of rhythm I had there. No urgency, no hit, and try to duplicate that sort of body motion. Initially, it's a little scary. It feels like you're almost going beyond the ball and almost opened up too much. But I promise you, that's a secret that can really help you. If you can get some of that in your game, you will, may not be hitting it quite like Jordan, but you will improve your golf game. Hope this helps. If you like it, hit the like button. You can subscribe to the channel. We'll get you more of these videos. And of course, the home site, scratchgolfacademy.com.